Hello, my name's Charlie Head, presenting to you The Last Ascent. This is a film documentary about a team of explorers making the last ever descent of the Blue Nile River. We have a very urgent timeline due to the imminent construction of the Grand Renaissance Dam in Ethiopia. Um, and this profound reality means that this is our last chance. It's our last descent or anyone's descent of this historic river. And we really wanted to honor this river and tell her last story before it's lost forever. Not long ago, we made the first and last descent from the primary source of the Amazon, the River Marignon. We heard it was being dammed and saw a chance to join our good friend Rocky on a campaign to protect the river and to spread the word. But it's all about the unexpected. Sadly, for this trip on the Nile, we may not have the same opportunity, but we sure as hell want to show you exactly what we're saying goodbye to and showcase its history and beauty. Rocky is already out there now, making contact with the local communities and laying some groundwork for us before we meet him. So here he is at the source, telling you a bit about the river. I'm Rocky Contos, director of Sierra Rios and Global Grand Canyons, where our goal is to explore, publicize, and protect the Grand Canyons of the world. The Nile is one of the most well-known yet enigmatic rivers of the world. Traveling upstream on the main Nile, one comes to a major bifurcation at the city of Khartoum, with the White Nile coming from the south out of Lake Victoria in Uganda, and the Blue Nile emerging from the east out of Lake Tana in Ethiopia. While the White Nile is over a thousand kilometers longer than the Blue Nile, the Blue Nile contributes nearly 70% more water to the main Nile compared to the White Nile, and therefore is the main stem source of the Nile. The Blue Nile emerges out of Lake Tana, a relatively cool high elevation lake that collects the monsoon rain falling in the surrounding Ethiopian highlands. Only 40 kilometers downstream of the lake, the river tumbles over one of the most majestic sites in Africa, Tisasat Falls. Downstream, the Blue Nile enters the most impressive canyon in Africa that was called the Grand Canyon by the British expedition that descended the river in 1968 a moniker that has remained with the river with later explorers. As the river flows nearly 900 kilometers through this Grand Canyon of Africa, it continues to gain volume from the tributaries flowing down from the Ethiopian Plateau and crashes over tumultuous rapids, primarily in a section called the Northern Gorge. Downstream in the unpopulated Black Gorge and Western Cataract sections, the native wildlife is abundant, and in particular, dangerous Nile crocodiles lurk in the waters, ready to eat any passing prey of appropriate size. All in all, a journey down the Blue Nile is one of the most amazing on Earth, similar in some ways to a journey through the Grand Canyon of the Colorado, yet very different in others. Unfortunately, soon it will not be possible to paddle through the entire Grand Canyon of Africa anymore. One of the largest dams in the world, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, is nearing completion and will flood 230 kilometers of the river when completed, including the lower part of the Grand Canyon section. The dam was due to be completed and start filling by July 2017, but delays have allowed a bit more time for some adventurous spirits to come and experience the full canyon with the river in its free-flowing state. Charlie Head is an amazing individual who I've had the pleasure of working with to help accomplish his previous goal of stand-up paddleboarding down the Grand Canyon of the Amazon from its main stem source. An inspiring film resulted from that endeavor. Now Charlie intends to similarly paddle through the Grand Canyon of the Nile with a similar dream and vision of adventure to let the world know what is to be lost in coming years and motivate people to do something to help protect the remaining canyon. I invite you to help us make the Blue Nile and the Grand Canyon of Africa more well known and hope you will enjoy experiencing it through the film and post that will follow the first ever stand-up paddle boarding trip down the Blue Nile. We have assembled a very special team to make this possible. We've come together through our passion for education and our love for our planet. 
Ben, our expedition medic and producer. Then we have Harry, our assistant producer and cameraman. Rob is our cameraman and drone pilot, giving us essential cinematography. Our wingman, Rocky, and myself. And learning about the threat to this river from the people it's going to affect the most. We really hope you feel as passionate about this project as we do and help support us um, in capturing the soul and the last mysteries of the Blue Nile.